Hello, my name is Frédéric Bowman. I'm going to present you this tutorial to show how to animate video effects with keyframes in Sony Vegas. Let's first create a new project and add a text media. That's it. Now let's increase the zoom level in order to shrink the title duration to 5 seconds. Now edit the properties. Let's change the title text to something more realistic. We are now going to use keyframes to animate the title location. For this, let's first move the title on the left. Since the cursor is at the beginning of the media, this location will be the initial location. Now click on the timeline to set the cursor to 2 seconds and a half and specify the corresponding new location. A new keyframe is automatically created. Finally, repeat these steps to create a third keyframe at the end of the media. Let's now check the resulting effect. With three keyframes, we have specified the title location for three different points in time. Vegas takes care of interpolating the location between keyframes in order to produce a fluid animation. So keyframes can be used to define the value of any property of an effect or a generated media. We have just seen an example with the placement property. Let's now see another example with panning and zooming. We first add a still image to the project and display the panning zooming properties. Then we check that the cursor is at the beginning of the media. And now let's frame the first duck. Okay. Set the cursor two seconds later now and frame both ducks this way. Finally, let's create a last keyframe at the end of the media and frame the whole view. What do we get now? Starting from a simple picture, we have created a panoramic animation. Now we are going to see that existing keyframes can be edited. Here the first keyframe is already selected. We are going to modify it to start the animation with, uh, with a reversed duck. By the way, you can check the interpolation by clicking at different places on the timeline as we are doing here. Let's have a look to the result now. We actually get a more complex animation. We have seen that Vegas interpolates properties between each keyframe. The interpolation speed can be adjusted for each keyframe. To see this, let's get back to our title. A right click shows that this keyframe is linear. What does it look like? The title is passing very quickly through the peak on the top of the screen. If we now set the keyframe to smooth, the transition is now much more fluid and progressive. To conclude this tutorial, let's see how to work faster by synchronizing the main timeline with the keyframe timeline. Let's first activate timeline synchronization by clicking this button. Now change is made on the main timeline or apply to the keyframe timeline as well, as we can see here. And conversely, any change to the keyframe timeline is applied also to the main timeline. And conversely again here. This tutorial is now finished, thank you very much for watching it. Please feel free to send me any question or suggestion for another tutorial to my email address mentioned here. Thanks again, bye bye.